we're talking about designing your your um, life with the words of your mouth. Uh, but it's important that we know that what's coming out of our mouths have have a uh, uh, is a result of what what we really have in our hearts. And I, I know of of 11 scripture where it talks about the mouth and the heart is connected to each other. And we're not going to go over those scriptures tonight, but but that's very important. But I want to take a few moments and talk about just words, you know. Uh, words are the most empower, uh, the most important force, I do believe, that is available to humanity. Um, I, I believe that in my heart because I see the example of that in the book of Genesis. When God created the heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. he created it with words. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. spoke it, he said, mm -hmm. and it was so. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if Christ himself created the universe with the words, you know, so it should be with our lives that we have to create our our life with the words of God that we speak without words. A thought cannot become a reality. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. you, you can think about it all day long, but if you don't say it. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reminded of um, a former pastor years ago um, made this statement. He said that when we speak forth the word of God, the word of God is like train tracks. And when we speak the word of God, the tracks is is the path that God lays for us and we get to walk on that path. Mm -hmm. And so the word of God is like, you know, the word of God is like a track. You know, speak it out of your mouth and then you get to walk that thing out. You got to believe it first, mm -hmm. but then you speak it out of your mouth and you get to walk those things out. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Proverbs mm -hmm. chapter 18, 21, and let's see what the word of God says okay. in the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. The book of Proverbs. This is good. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 18. We just have to be reminded and, and yeah, mindful of some things yeah. yes it's, it's yes true. you know yeah uh, because sometimes we just allow life to happen to us and we we just allow whatever is presented to us oh we we just receive it because the doctor said it or because mama said it or because whoever said it you know but why not believe what the word of god says mm -hmm. Because when I read the word of God, it tells me that the word of God is truth, mm -hmm. that the word that God cannot lie. You know, so if God mm -hmm. cannot lie and the word of God is true, then that's what I want my life to look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. exactly what I want my life yeah. to look like. Yeah. Uh, L, do you want to read that? In, uh, okay. okay. I've got it in the, uh, the King James. Okay. And this is uh, Proverbs 18 and 21. Mm -hmm. It says, death and life. Mm are in the power of the tongue <laughs> and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof death and life mm -hmm. is in the power of the tongue the message translation says words kill <laughs> words give life they're either poison or fruit you choose, you choose. i like yeah. that mm -hmm. you choose Words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit you choose. Mm -hmm. So words that we speak out of our mouth, they carry power. Uh, I like the way uh, Pastor Dollar says uh, uh, words are like an energy. It's an energy and a power with the ability to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so when I get the word of God on the inside of me and I begin to speak that word out of my mouth, those, that word is power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm reminded of the scripture over in Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, and we'll come back to Proverbs 18 okay. and 21, okay. but Hebrews chapter four, verse 12. And it says for the word mm -hmm. that God speak mm -hmm. is alive and full of power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this is the amplified version. It says it's alive and full of power, making it active, mm -hmm. operative, mm -hmm. energizing and effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now if the word of God, 
does all of this. Why will I want something different <laughs> to happen in my life? Mm -hmm. The word itself is alive. It's active. It's operative. Mm -hmm. It's energizing and it's effective. Mm -hmm. So if you get the word of God on, on the inside of you in your heart and you speak that word out of your mouth, it's effective. Yeah. It's, it is going to affect your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not a one, just as you saying that, it's not a one time shot. No. It's not like, okay, I read this today, so now I'm good for the next 20 or 30 years. Mm -mm. This is progressive. This is process. Yes. This is the way we live. Mm hmm. You know, I don't just, okay, inundate myself with the word one day and then no more word until, you know, next week or something. Uh -huh. There should be a everyday feeding, yes. an everyday plant, you know, of the word of God. Yes. This, if we believe the word of God is our life. Jesus said, man shall not live yes. by, by bread alone, alone yes. but by every, every word, word yes. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. So for me to have life, I need to be finding out. I need to be trying to find out, okay, what is proceeded out of the mouth of God? Because right. that is how I live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need my natural food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. eat mm -hmm. the natural. Mm -hmm. But that's not... I need more than that to live. If we're going right. to live the God quality of life, yeah. the joy that Jesus came Talked that we about. might have, mm -hmm. the only way we can do that is to live by his word and what he has said. That's right. So it's not a one-time deal. Mm -hmm. You know, like a one-time feeding. I heard somebody say, uh, just in this crisis time, he was saying, you know, all of our times of coming to church, mm -hmm. Uh, sitting under our pastors, hearing the word, coming to Bible studies, our home groups, and all of these things. All of these, you know, as we've been planting that word in our heart, he yes. said, now it's game time. It's game time, yeah. You know, so we now mm -hmm. we're going to have to use those things that have been planted in our heart you, and what we believe. And the number one way we can start is by what we're saying Thank out of our mouth. That's right. If you declare this is not going to happen, I'm declaring that ain't what God said. That's right. Excuse my English. That's right. That ain't what God said. <laughs> that ain't said. what God said. This is what God said. That's right. And so I'm going to come back. And, and Pastor Pat, these are things that we, um, if we're going to share them with somebody, we want to do it in love. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not trying to make somebody she thinks the way I see him. Mm -hmm. What I'm simply doing is, sharing that, is that sharing it, telling you, mm -hmm. look, it's working for me. Or mm -hmm. let, just letting you see it's working for me. Yes. And that my conversation, my words are just totally different from yours. Yes. So I think, I, I think it's more or less of not a, um, we're not condemning anybody. That's right. What we're simply trying to do is like, okay, Encourage. let's dig in here yes. and let's, yes. you know, if it's not working the way we say it, the scriptures say it ought to work, or we've heard people say it ought to work, mm -hmm. then I need to find out, okay, God, what, what is going on here? What's going on? And I know it's not on your part. I know it's not on your part. So I got to check, number one, my heart, and check what's coming out of my mouth. That's good. And yeah. a lot of times we have things in our heart that we we know. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever, yeah. and, I, I, and I'm sure people out here have too, you were, uh, there were some things in your heart you knew. Mm -hmm. And then a circumstance comes up. And so you, number one thing you knew in your heart, you shouldn't say that. Say that, yeah. Contrary to what's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we say it anyway. Yeah. You ever had them? <laughs> yes, I absolutely have, yeah. Let's but I had to go back and say, oh, Father, I, I repent. I knew. Yes. Mm -hmm. But see, pressure is something. You, you, we got to, mm -hmm. you know, in James 1, it says that we are to be uh, quick to hear, slow, slow to, to speak. speak. Yeah, yeah. 
we need to think before yeah. we let things yeah. come out of our mouths. Yeah. You're right about that. And sometimes we let things come out of our mouths and then we realize after we said, oops, I shouldn't have said <laughs> that, you know, so you have to go back and, you mm -hmm. know, and, and take those things mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. that you've spoken out there because you mm -hmm. put it out in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And so when you, whenever you, again, our words are creative and they are creative power, but when you put things out in the atmosphere mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. it goes to work for you. You're setting something in motion mm -hmm. when you say something out of your mouth. So, you know, if we say the wrong thing, we have to say, okay, you know, I take that back. I renounce that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it has no power in my life. Lord, mm -hmm. forgive me for saying that, you know, and then we have to change the way that we say things, you know, and that starts with the way we think. But I want to go back to what you said, you know, this is this, our, um, talking about uh, creating or designing our life with our words. This is a process. This is not a one time feeding. You know, when you, uh, God just, He is just so magnificent. He didn't leave out anything. Mm -hmm. He knew when He created us, He created us as a spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we have a soul and we live in a body. Mm -hmm. So He knew that in the scripture, when you, when you mentioned the scripture, that we don't live by, uh, by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, God mm -hmm. knew that we were going to need the word of God to survive, mm -hmm. to live this Christian life. Mm -hmm. He also knew that we were going to have to have spiritual food to survive and live this natural life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this script and in, in, back into Spirit the scripture, life. Hebrews um, chapter uh, four, verse 12 when it talked about the word being active, alive, energizing, and effective, it also says that it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, which is the soul, and the immortal spirit of man. Mm -hmm. So the word of God really divides between what's true and what's false, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's real and was not real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so see that's, that's why real. it's so important that we get that word on the inside of mm -hmm. us. So when something false come. Your spirit man will rise up and take a position in you. Mm -hmm. And it'll say uh uh that's not, that's not of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't believe that. And I'm surely not going to confess that. Mm -hmm. You know so I, the word is so um, important and so real in our lives. Yeah. You know, because again, it's, it's, it divides between true and false. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you know what's right mm -hmm. and you know what's wrong. Mm -hmm. You can't say, I don't know what, well, I didn't know that was right. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. You know what's right, right and you know what's wrong yeah. because God created us that way. Yeah. But then it says even dividing, it, it, it divides between the joint and the marrow, mm -hmm. you know, to the deepest part of our nature. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded of the scripture where it says, forget not his benefits, mm -hmm. you know, for God heals and deliver us from iniquities and destruction, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and, but the word of God itself brings life even to our physical body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when God created us, he didn't leave out anything he didn't. and his word is the way that we survive. Yeah. Yeah. We eat the word of God just like we eat the natural food. Mm -hmm. And then when we eat the word of God, it brings life and healing even to our physical body. Yeah, yeah. And going back to that Hebrews where you just were, mm -hmm. it says it is a discerner. And this is the King James, Ooh, a discerner yes. of thoughts and intents of the heart. So God will let us know what's in our heart. That's it. You I'm going to go off right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Look. <laughs> Sometimes we might think we are so right and mm -hmm. what, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then we'll get in this word when we're in the word. Yes. And now the Holy Ghost, the word of God begins to, you know, okay, this is in your heart. You need to get this out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to, you, you know what I'm saying? We, he'll, he'll let you know if you're on the wrong path. That's right. When you think that you are on the right path. Yeah. Because this word goes down in your heart. It I does. mean, it'll, and it'll show up. <laughs> oh, you know, have you ever been in a, in a service, somebody ministering, and uh, the word will come for, and it like, it'll hit you like, oh, oh, God. I, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say, oh, that was for sister so-and-so. Uh -uh. It like hit me, mm -hmm. and it's like, 
Oh, God, I thought I was past that. I thought I had. But that's the love of God. Yes. Pastor Pat, yes. That is the love of God. Yeah. To show me where I'm thinking I'm so right or, you know, mm -hmm. got this thing going. Mm -hmm. or, and it's like, nope, that's not right. You that's need to right. correct. Correction. That's it. You need to correct this. That's right. You 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 uh, off course. Mm -hmm. So you need to make that adjustment mm -hmm. and get back on course. That's what the word of God will do. It'll that's show right. up stuff that's that right. you thought. Oh, I don't do that. I, that's not me. I see that on everybody else. Mm -hmm. Man, the word you get this word, it'll yes. start showing up. It thing. will. It will. <laughs> and you know, that's just the love of God, yes, though. You know, yes. He loves us so much until you know He He wants us to 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 be the example of Him in the earth, and He wants us to so align ourselves up with the Word of God mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. His love just shines the light mm -hmm. on our lives, yes. and it helps us yes. to be the the person that he really created us to be yes. you know when you were talking about that I was I, I had this mental picture of a uh, coffee thinking about coffee and the filter mm -hmm. you know when you put the, the grinds of the coffee into the filter you know and then the water you know gets in there mm -hmm. you know when, when the filter catches all the things that are not supposed to be in the coffee when you get ready to drink it mm -hmm. or partake of it. Mm -hmm. Well, the word of God is the same thing. It's like a filter. Mm -hmm. It filters everything that's not supposed to be like God mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. of our lives. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then it brings everything that we need that's good. That's good. of God into our lives. That's good. You know? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I, God, again, didn't forget or leave out anything nothing. nothing oh he's just so magnificent nothing. just an awesome god he is just so mindful of mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. so i i would say this uh or ask this question elder and we just kind of just going back over and we're going to bring this thing to an end here shortly how important is it for us to say what god is saying and how do we go about doing that good question how important <laughs> is it for us to say what God is saying? Mm -hmm. And then how do we go about doing that? Okay. I would say it's very important. Yes. And years ago, um, just in studying the life of Jesus, mm -hmm. it just jumped out at me and maybe some, somewhere through, you know, my childhood, my young adult, adult upbringing um, and I remember because I you know being in church or being brought up in church mm -hmm. um, we still have to make the choice mm -hmm. see because you have people come into a building all the time yes you know come in you know have been brought up in church and just different teachings and all of these kind of things. At some point in time, we're going to have to believe it Got to believe and it. then act on it. Got Nobody can do it. that for us. Mm -hmm. Every person has to make that choice. Yes. And I remember years ago, a friend of ours, and we had, all of us had been in church. We were uh, saved. We were sanctified. We were filled with the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. But our words, and, and uh, I remember um, <laughs> he had gone to a meeting. And just really heard, he really got a revelation of what was being ministered about our words and what we say. Mm -hmm. So when he, he's come, he comes back all excited, you know, and, uh, and he's telling us, you know, you really need to watch what you say. And it's like, how are you going to do that? Because in our thinking, we really couldn't comprehend that. Yes, yes. Because of our faith level, let's mm -hmm. put it like that, or our spiritual level at the time. So mm -hmm. we couldn't comprehend it. So... He was just so excited about it until now we began to hear what he's hearing, mm -hmm. right? So that word was being planted in our hearts, right? So um, number one, I think you have to desire. Yes. You have to desire change. When we talk about designing our lives, mm -hmm. If there's anything in my life, you know, in everybody's life, there's probably some, some things that we have overcome and some good things about our lives. But in designing our lives as a whole, that yes. I see something in my life that I don't like, mm -hmm. number one, 
I need to find, I need to like, okay, something's not right about this. And we yes. already know that. Yes. You know, yes. Then I need to go, I've got to have confidence enough in God to say, okay, God, this is not going right. So mm-hmm. I need to find out what you are saying yes. about this or what you have already said, what is already written about this, and then apply that to my life. Mm-hmm. Now, there are times, and sometimes there, there are, um, one of the ways, let me put it this way, that we can begin, if we don't have the word in our hearts in a certain area, mm-hmm. get the scriptures on it. Yes. And begin to just speak those scriptures yes. in my heart, just, mm-hmm. just repetitively. We call it confession. Yes. Just confessing those things in my heart. Just keep, because a lot of times it may start in your mouth first mm-hmm. to get in your heart. <laughs> Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's like yes. a, a revolving thing, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So if I don't see it manifested in my life right now, get my scriptures, begin to just confess those scriptures. Thank you, Lord. Confess those scriptures. Confess those scriptures. And we don't have to be so, um, you know, trying to come up with some kind of different way to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pastor Pat, when I started my journey in, when I found out about the words of my mouth, what I did was I took prayers let's just say in Ephesians the prayers that Paul prayed that's right and because I didn't know them Mm -hmm. I just went to the scripture opened the Bible and read them out the scripture that's right read them out loud so you can out loud so I could hear yeah so get you some scripture Mm -hmm. if you it's it's nothing wrong with if you got to print them off or if you want to oh we so technical now (laughs) put them in your device you can carry them with them everywhere you go. Everywhere and you every go. time you think about it or have mm-hmm. opportunity, just take them out and just begin. Just reading them out, reading them out. Yes. Because what's happening is it, it doesn't, you ain't going to feel nothing. You probably won't feel nothing. That's right. But what we're, it's going into your heart, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we're speaking them on purpose. That's right. We're speaking them in my heart. This yeah. is what you said. I'm, and, and, and so that's a way to do it. Yeah. Go into the word. Yes. Finding out what God says about that situation. Mm -hmm. And then begin to speak them. Yes. And speak them until they get in your heart. Yeah. Keep speaking them. Yes. And speaking them. Yes. And speaking them. Yes. And even from that time that I on on purpose went to Ephesians and I... You know how we learn things Mm -hmm. like we do in school? Mm -hmm. They like the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance, yeah. Okay? We learn that. Mm -hmm. So once we learn that, it's like I don't have to like every time go now and look, you know. But I I know them. I know them. I know them. Mm -hmm. And I'm continually speaking them and speaking them and speaking them. They're going to get in your heart. Yeah. That's good. They're going to get in your heart. That's really good. I, You know, I I remember... um, when I first started making confessions and this is really how I began to build my relationship with the Lord. Because when, you know, when you are new in Christ, uh, you know, you begin to read the word. And and for me, when I, when I only had the King James version and some things I just did not understand, you know? And so when I found out that I could, you know, do different translations, I went to different translations, but, but in my time with the Lord, the Lord just put on my heart to just start confessing the word of God. At that time, I didn't really use the word confess. I just start, like you say, reading the word out loud to myself. Mm -hmm. And then I learned later on, I was confessing the word of God. And and when I confess the word of God, I'm actually planning the seed of the word of God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I started in the book of Psalms, Elder Margaret, and I just walked through the book of Psalms, just really literally turning the page as the spirit would lead me and just read certain things out of there. And, mm-hmm. and, and what the Holy Spirit revealed to me is that when, when you are making confessions like that, it's an opportunity for you to hear yourself say what God has already said. Right, right. And when you hear it and you keep hearing, because remember faith comes by hearing on a continual basis, the word of God. Mm-hmm. So when you hear yourself saying the word of God, 
and you continue to hear yourself say the word of God, it becomes a belief on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. So it builds your belief system based upon the word of God. Mm -hmm. And so you begin to hear yourself say it, then you begin to believe what the word of God says. Therefore, you got confidence in That's what good. he has spoken, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you can act upon it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times we want to act upon what God has already spoken, but yet we don't have any belief system and we hadn't really spoken what he said. You know, we read it one time and then, well, you know, to God, but, but there's no belief system. And so we have to, it's just like building a house. Mm -hmm. You have to have a foundation. You have to lay that foundation down before you build that house. That concrete is laid and I'm not a builder. So I, you know, <laughs> if I mess up, you know, if I have any builders listening to us, if I mess up, please forgive me. But I do know you laid that concrete, that foundation, mm -hmm. and then you begin to build the walls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the same with the word of God. Mm -hmm. You laid the foundation of the word of God by mm -hmm. saying what mm -hmm. God has already said. Mm -hmm. You hear yourself say it, it gets uh, deposited into your heart or planted mm -hmm. in your heart, mm -hmm. and then it becomes a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's one of the ways that we can truly uh, get the word into our hearts is by confessing it. Another way is prayer. Mm -hmm. um, I can remember when I first started praying, you know, uh, my pastor, my former pastor started teaching us on prayer and uh I, I was introduced to a book and the, the title of that book. And I know, you know, this book very well is prayer that avail is much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by Jermaine Copeland. Mm -hmm. I, if you are watching and you don't have a prayer life and you desire to pray, or you desire to pray the word of God, I encourage you to go on to Amazon or, or just Google uh, prayer availeth much by Jermaine Copeland. And I tell you at that particular time, she had, uh, the, uh, version one, mm -hmm. and then she came mm -hmm. out with version two mm -hmm. and then the version three, and it was all of them put together. Mm -hmm. That's how I learned how to pray. Mm -hmm. I took that book and I began to walk the floor and I'm telling you, just about every area of your life, there's a prayer in that book mm -hmm. that 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 covers it. Mm -hmm. You know, salvation, mm -hmm. healing, uh, 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 financial prosperity. Mm -hmm. If you lost a loved one, if you need wisdom, if you need comfort, mm -hmm. you know, if you need to be encouraged, mm -hmm. you, uh, if if you just want to begin to just uh, say what God. Uh, has to say about you and who you are in him mm -hmm. is in that book. Yes. Yeah. And so I began to take that book, put that word in my heart and I began to say what God, when I tell you that the word of God revolutionized my life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it changed the way I thought about first myself. Yep. And then it changed the way I thought about God and Christ and my relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. So it brought me closer to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the word of God is so important in our lives yeah. where we, we, we got to just stop all the busyness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the things that are, that are going on. And we know we got a lot of things that are going on and happening in our world. Mm -hmm. But we have got to stop and just take time. Yes. If it's five minutes yes. or yes. 10 minutes yes. or 15 minutes, mm -hmm. sit down with the word of God mm -hmm. and begin to read those scriptures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joshua 1, 8 say meditate on the word of God mm -hmm. day and night, day and night. Day and, night. Mm -hmm. and when you do that, he say you will have good success. Mm -hmm. yep. You will make your own way prosper. See, mm -hmm. God is. Christ, Jesus Christ, has done all that he's going to do. Mm -hmm. It's up to us now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we are going to take hold of the possessions, if we are going to walk in the authority that Christ has given us, yes. we have to do our part. Yes. Christ yes. has already, already 
done his part. Yeah. It's yeah. not what he going to do. Mm -hmm. He has already done mm -hmm. his part. Mm -hmm. So we have to stop, take the time, get into the word, get that word in our hearts. Mm -hmm. Whatever you may have need of in your life, whether it's finances, whether it's in relationship, whether it's just you building a closer relationship with the Lord. Like Elder said, find out what the scripture says. You can turn into to the back of your Bible and mm -hmm. there's a concordance. Yeah. Anything that you want to know, you can look that scripture up. Get that word in your heart by saying what it says. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. You take that one scripture and you ponder on that one scripture all day long. You can take it for a whole week and just say the Lord yeah. is my shepherd and I shall not want. Yeah. And you just keep saying that over and over and over. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will begin to deal with you and give you revelation knowledge of what that word means for you mm -hmm. at that appointed time yes. in your life. Yes, yes. And when you get that word in you, can't nothing take it away from no, you. No. I don't care what circumstance, I don't care what situation may come up in your life. The word of God is the final authority in yes. your life and nothing can take you off of it. Yes. It's like the Weeber Wobber. You remember that Weeber <laughs> yeah. Wobber uh, thing that we, you, I know I uh, had one for yeah. one Christmas. I got it as a young child. You hit that thing, that thing will bounce back. But the next thing you know, it's bounced right back. Mm hmm. Yep. It's standing up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. life sometimes throws us a bad hand of cards mm -hmm. and we don't know what card to mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. But if we get the wisdom of God on the inside of us, mm -hmm. it'll tell us what to do, yes. when to do it yes. and how to do it. Yes. He'll yes. even tell us what to say, when to say it and how to say it. Yes. 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 You know, but the word of God is the final authority on everything. Mm hmm in our lives mm -hmm. everything hangs on it yes you know and confessions is one of the ways to get that word of god meditating is another way to get it into your heart mm -hmm. praying the word of god is another way yes. of getting it into your heart mm -hmm. and so reading we don't the word of reading god. the word of god yeah. can get it into your heart you know listening to he, it yeah mm -hmm. listening to it yeah. in your car while you're driving getting it in your heart mm -hmm. it will change your life forever yeah. and i want to end with this one scripture yeah. and this is romans romans chapter 4 verse 17 and i know this is a familiar verse of scripture romans um chapter 4 verse 17 Romans chapter four, verse 17, and it reads, and I'm going to read it to you out of the Amplified, and it reads, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. Now, here the Lord is talking to Abraham, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and of course, we are descendants of Abraham, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so he says, he was appointed our father in the sight of God in whom we believe. So Abraham set the example of faith for us, mm -hmm. you know, in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Who gives life to the dead and speak of the non-existing things mm -hmm. that he foretold and promised as if they already exist. Mm -hmm. Now. The King James Version says this, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations mm -hmm. in the presence of whom uh, in the presence of him whom he believed, God, who gives life to the dead and call those things which do not exist as though they do. So when we get the word of God in our hearts and we begin to say what God is saying, we are calling those things that don't exist. We are calling those things into existence in our lives. Wouldn't you say that would be true? Yeah, because if we're going to, and when we say it's non-existence, we're, we're existent, it exists somewhere. It's yes. just that we're bringing it we're bringing it out of the spirit yes into the natural that's right so the way that the faith of god speaks mm -hmm. is that i'm saying 
what he says in the face of what doesn't look like um, is possible. That's it's possible, word. yes. Okay? Yes. So I'm speaking in, 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 in spite of things that um, they say may be impossible. Mm -hmm. I now begin to speak what is possible. That's good. And I'm not, I'm not conjuring up things. I'm doing it because I already see it in the word of in God. Word. It's got to be in the word. Yes, yes. And then I begin to call what's in the word mm. and speaking what's in the word to change that that doesn't line up with the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that Abraham did. That's right. That's the same thing he did. God, actually, God had to change his name. That's right. So that he, every time he heard his name, he heard Father of Many Nations. Nations. That's right. And he kept hearing that and hearing that and speaking that and speaking that in spite of the fact that he got off course a couple of times and tried to do stuff their own on way. His own. Um, mm -hmm. But in the end, he got back on course. And because he began to say, I am a father of many mm -hmm. nations, that thing happened. It happened. Yes. And it didn't look like from the natural side of it. Man, you thought it, people thought he probably was crazy. Man, mm -hmm. you old. Yes. Sarah O never had the ability to have children. Not that she stopped having, she never had the ability. <laughs> and then they began to say what God said. That's right. And God, the word of God, Pastor Pat. That's right. Changed their bodies. Mm -hmm. Come on now. And and even after, and I heard this this morning, uh talking to uh listen to that brother Copeland, even after Sarah died. That wasn't the end of it because Abraham had children after, after that. that. Mm -hmm. So the word of God that they believed in, act, it changed their physical bodies mm -hmm. in things that the experts said was not possible. That's right. That's good. The That's natural good. said, uh-uh, oh, mm -hmm. you passed this, mm -hmm. your wound dead, it ain't going to happen. But see what the word of God did. It changed it. And as you were talking, Pastor Pat, this came up in my spirit. When you were talking about that confidence. Mm -hmm. We are not trying to like come up with some kind of phony confidence. Mm -hmm. If we'll get enough of the word in our heart, that yes. the confidence is going to come. It's come, yeah. And it's nothing that I manufacture. Mm -hmm. It's in the word. Yes. Yes. It's in the word. Thank and so I, I have to stay with it long enough. And then I can't be, you know, I've been talking to God about pride. Okay, Holy Spirit, anything in me, pride, I, you know, you need to show it to me. I'm acting in pride with whatever it is, because I know that that is not a God. So if I'm in a place and I know, you know, things ought to be looking better than it is in, in my present situation right yeah, here. Yeah. And things ought to be looking better. I need to just back up. And if I got this false, you know, stuff going on, I need to back up. Need to back, yeah. Get back in the word in that area. Mm -hmm. Get myself big, built back up. That's right. So that I now can begin to speak what he says. Says. Because as you were saying, the word of God is so powerful. It is. It changes things. Yeah. And just like it brought life to Abraham and Sarah's body, you know, over when we talked about it over in um, Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, it talked about how the word of God penetrates the bone and the marrow of man. So God didn't leave out anything. But, you know, when Abraham, when God started telling Abraham he will be the father of many nations, Abraham didn't believe that in the beginning. They laughed at yeah, Abraham's like the father of many nations. I can't even have my own child. What do you mean the father of many nations? You know, but he began, he, Abraham had a history with the father. So he had built a relationship with him. So in the beginning, Abraham was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. You know, they, they kind of laughed at it. Oh, but then when he came to his real senses, when he sat down, when he stopped and thought about what God was saying, mm -hmm. he was like, okay, I'm going to be a father of many nations. When they, when they agreed with what the father had said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. thing begins to change. Yeah, and God even had to mark him. He had to God mark had to him. mark his yes. mental. He, That's he right. took him out and showed him all of the stuff. You know? That's it. And so, Pastor Pat, this is the other thing we have to understand. There are times when we're feeding the word of God in our hearts and we, we, we're, we're endeavoring, okay, I know this is what God says yes. and this is not lining what, I'm, this is going to have to change. Change. Mm -hmm. So now as I begin to, to get the word in my heart, now God will begin to direct me to other things. My, by the spirit of God, he'll begin to direct yes. me to other things. Yes. He might send you, Pastor Pat, and you, we'll be in conversation mm -hmm. and you'll say something mm -hmm. That sparks, okay, okay, I yes. see. He'll let me hear things that I would, I would have not <laughs> heard. That's right. Other, you see what I'm That's saying? That's right. I, it may have been around me at the time, but because now I've got this word in my mm -hmm. heart and it's, now it's beginning to produce some things. That's right. And I'm hearing things that I, I otherwise I probably would have bypassed. Oh, no, uh-uh, mm -hmm. that ain't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or I'm seeing things. Yes. Or, or he'll send somebody in my That's path. That's right. I mean, all kind of things. There's all kind of yes. ways. Yes. That now the spirit of God begins to deal mm -hmm. in that situation. And something that I thought probably at one time was stupid. Like, uh-uh, that can't be the answer to this problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now God begins to show me, just do this. Yeah. And I might have thought about that before. It's like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. You take the foolish things to confound the wise, doesn't he? Yeah. But you see what the word of God The word do? of God does that. Yeah. He'll do that. Mm -hmm. But I got to stay with it long enough. Long you enough. You know us. We, we microwave people. Yeah. We want it right now. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I said it one time. It didn't change. I say, let me go to something else. Mm -mm. Uh, well, no. Yeah. You got to stick and stay. Yeah. Stick and <laughs> stay, stay and is stay. bound to pay. <laughs> Yeah, stick and stay. <laughs> Hallelujah. This has been good. Yes. Well, you know, uh, this has been really good. And uh, I think, you know, our time is up. Elder, what do you think? I think it's up. Amen. You want to pray us out. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, we had a great oh, time a in the time. Word of God. It's, it's, oh, it's just so wonderful. I mean, it's never a time when we come around the Word of God. It's no way you can get in the Word of God mm -hmm. and come out all pitiful and sad. I That's mean, it's right. just good. Hallelujah. And so far, <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, we thank, we, we thank you today, God, for just this time. Yes, God. In your presence, we thank you, Father, for uh, those things that have been shared. And thank you, Father, for what you've even ministered uh, to our hearts during this time. We thank you, Father, God, for just taking those things that have been shared and just further ministering, Holy Spirit, to your people, uh, just for insight, guidance, Jesus. direction. We look to you for that. Yes. We thank you, Father, that the word is alive. Yes. It is full of power. It's working in us and for us even now. And so so we thank you for it. We give you praise Father, for yes, it. God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. So yes. if you have tuned in with us tonight and um, uh, you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we invite you to do that now. Uh, this is where it all starts. Uh, we begin with the scripture in Romans uh, 10, 9, and 10. And if you'll just go look at that, um, you know, I remember uh, Paul even on the way to Damascus when he was persecuted, Saul, when he was persecuting the Christian and uh, he had an encounter with God, he just said, Lord. Yes. <laughs> so if you um, want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we want to lead you into that now. Just confess this with us. Say, God, your word says, God, your word says that if I will um, believe in my heart, if I will and confess with my mouth and confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord that Jesus is Lord I will be saved I will be saved I receive him now I receive him now. I believe in my heart I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead that you raised Jesus and from I the dead. make that confession now with my mouth and I make that confession now with my mouth Jesus Jesus come into my heart come into my heart. I receive you now. I receive you as now. my Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. And my Savior. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. That I am now born again. That I am now born again. And Jesus is my Lord. And Jesus is my Lord. Amen. Amen. Now you take that. You Hallelujah. believe that. You go to yes. the Scripture. Um, even the scriptures that we've given you in Romans 10, 9, and 10, just begin to read that. You want to meditate that more. Um, you need to tell somebody, look, I got born again That's today. Right. Just make that confession with yes. your mouth. And then now begin to um, get into the word and let God lead and guide and direct you. There are some things out on our web that will um, help you um, to get started in your journey. Um, you can go to um, 
your Bible, uh, look, begin to look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Just begin there. Um, and just let the Holy Spirit deal and begin to teach you because he is the teacher. Amen. We invite you for those of you that are members um, and partners of Newness of Life World Outreach Center. Don't forget your giving. Um, in this time, in this season, um, and at, of course, uh, everything that we do, let it be done unto the glory of God. So until next time, we will see you later, and we decree and declare that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord.